Hey there builders, in this video we're going to take a quick look at Amazon S3 bucket security. In the last few months there's been some pretty big headlines about data being exposed in Amazon S3 buckets. The good news here is this is normally due to simple misconfigurations. It's not hackers or malicious intent. Somebody has made a simple mistake. It's really easy to fix these mistakes though and that's the good news. You can take advantage of some tools available from AWS themselves and from the community to make sure this doesn't happen to you. First up is the Amazon S3 management console itself. There's this really interesting little public flag that happens in the Amazon S3 console that will show you any bucket that's set to be public readable. You want to follow up on those and make sure that those are hosting static websites or that you intend for them to be publicly readable. The second thing you want to look at is Amazon Macy. This is a relatively new service that uses complex AI models to evaluate the risk of your data in S3. It also will raise the simple flag that you've set this to public when it might not want to be, um, but it will also highlight where there's um, credit card information, personal health information, and other sensitive information that's sitting in a bucket that you might not be aware is there. The third thing you want to look at is AWS Config. A couple months ago, the AWS team released two new rules to deal with S3 bucket issues, uh, public write and public read awareness. Very simple to configure and now S3 config will pop up an alert and tell you when you have buckets that are configured to be publicly read or writable. The last area where you can get quick help is through one of the many community tools around S3 permissions, something like S3 Inspector. This is designed to be run at the command line or as an AWS Lambda function and it'll tell you which buckets are set to public. There are a number of ways to apply permissions to an S3 bucket, but you want to make sure that you're using one of the techniques we talked about in this video to ensure that the permissions are configured the way you expect them to be. People make mistakes all the time, it's the nature of the business. Using any one of these techniques will make sure that you catch the mistake quickly and easily before you end up on the front page.